This is an example to help develop intuition for omitted variable bias. So in this case, imagine you're interested in the effect of an animal being a bird versus not a bird on how much food gets eaten in that area. So you have a random sample of four non-birds on the left and a random sample of four birds on the right. And you've set out uh, four units of food in each of the eight sites. So you then leave and then you'll come back later to observe how much food has been eaten. So the zebra is pretty hungry. It eats uh, three pieces of food and so there's only one left. A uh, kangaroo eats a couple pieces of food. Uh, the lamb isn't too hungry. She just eats one piece of food. The uh, tiger's pretty hungry. Eats three pieces of food. The birds are a bit peckish. Well, not that peckish. Anyway, the turkey just eats one piece of food, chicken just eats one, uh, the uh, penguin's a little bigger, I think it's an emperor penguin, so it eats two pieces of food, and the duck eats just one piece of food. So if we were to be able to observe what we have now, we would see the actual causal effect of being a bird on how much food gets eaten. Right? And we can see a lot more food was eaten on the non-bird side than on the bird side. But before we can observe this, there's this particular type of ghost uh, that likes to be around birds. So it's ooh, ghost over here on the duck, and ghost over here on the turkey and on the chicken. And uh, this particular type of ghost eats a lot of food. And uh, I should also say it thinks penguins are kind of weird, so it just doesn't haunt them for whatever reason. But it's very hungry. So whatever food is left, wherever there's a ghost, gets completely eaten up. So the chicken's food all disappears. The ghost eats all the turkey's food. And the duck ghost eats all the duck's food. And so now this is what we come back and observe in the data. So now when we look, we see, well, it looks like a lot more food was eaten on the bird sites than on the non-bird sites. Um, so if we are looking at averages, for example, the you know, sample average uh, food eaten over here is um, a lot more food was eaten than the sample average over here. And that would lead us to believe that birds eat more food or that you know birds have a causal being a bird has a causal effect a bigger causal effect on how much food is eaten but that would be wrong um, and there's sort of three things that all conspire to mislead us in this situation so the first is that this type of ghost we can't see it Right? We're completely unaware that it's there. Or more generally, maybe we're sort of aware that it's there, but for whatever reason, it's not in our model, or maybe not in our data. So that's one problem. The second is that the ghost does have a causal effect on the outcome variable y. Uh, in this case, the ghost is really hungry and eats a lot of food, um, so that affects why. Uh, and I should clarify, of course, the ghost here is playing the part of the 
omitted variable. And then third is that the ghost's presence is correlated with being a bird. In this case, three of the four birds are haunted, whereas none of the non-birds are haunted. Uh, so it's not that all birds are haunted. Uh, the penguin does not have a ghost, but it is correlated with, in this case, our x variable. So the omitted variable is correlated with x. And those three things all come together mean that we end up sort of observing systematically less food on the bird side uh, due to this omitted variable, the ghost, and that sort of leads us to believe incorrectly that the uh, birds eat more than they do. Uh, so of course you can think of other examples where you replace bird and non-bird with different x variables and look at different outcomes. You know, if the birds were all individuals who went to college and the non-birds did not go to college and the ghost is something like you know just general academic ability regardless of whether you go to college or not. And again, it's not saying that everyone who goes to college is higher ability than everyone who doesn't go to college. It's just that there's some sort of correlation, um, and then that ability can directly affect you know, your wages, your earnings, the y variable. Uh, or in the example where you know, the birds are uh, schools with small class sizes, low student-teacher ratios, and the non-birds are um, schools with bigger class sizes, you can imagine the ghost is things like um, you know, other resources that the school can pay for. Um, you know, the bird schools are just overall have more money. They can buy other resources, other things that will be correlated. Again, not that every single school has every single advantage, but just that there's some correlation and that these other advantages also have a causal effect on the outcome, such as a average math score or something like that. Uh, so hopefully the birds and non-birds and food can sort of help develop some intuition, and then you can think of other examples and a similar framework.